This is Dr. Amanda from Street Smile Solutions, and I had a couple great questions come in today that I wanted to answer. Um, first one was about, it's actually a pretty common question, it's about Vivera Retainers, which is a branded retainer which is made by Invisalign, which is aka publicly traded company Align Technology. That is their brand of retainers. You can buy them in packs of one or packs of four. Um, you do need to buy them through your dentist. Um, any dentist that is Invisalign certified can prescribe Vivera retainers. In order to get those retainers, you'll need to either have a scan or an impression done by your dentist. If you've gone through Invisalign treatment, your last, and you're happy with the outcome, and your dentist is happy with the outcome, that last retainer, sorry, that last stage, and the very last aligner can be that file, that um, 3D image, can be transferred to be made into a Vivera retainer. So for clarification, you really shouldn't use your last aligner as a retainer because it's way thinner than an actual retainer should be to hold the teeth. So you're moving your teeth, you're moving your teeth. The properties of the plastic that moves the teeth during Invisalign treatment or regular aligner treatment is much um, thinner and much more um, elastomeric, elastic-ish, in order to move the teeth, right? So that's the properties that we need to move teeth. When we're done and we want to hold those teeth in the final position for life, then we need a thicker retainer. So the approximate thickness, just for the uh, dental geeks out there, for movement retainers or aligners are usually at 030 in terms of thickness. That's, I think that's in inches. And the actual retention is usually 040. So it's like a little bit thicker, not that much. You're talking like Mike little, little, little microns, like tiny bit thicker, but it does make a difference when you feel the retainers versus the aligners, they're much stiffer, which is the goal, right? A um, little harder to get off, etc. So approximate amount of time that they last for, which is why you really can't just have one retainer. And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions, not only for dentists, but also for patients is, okay, I'm going to either use my last aligner as a retainer. Well, they're not going to stay straight if you do that. So that's not a great idea. Um, same thing with retainer. You can't just have one retainer. You need to have many retainers throughout your lifetime. And you need to factor that into your budget. And that's a really important question that you need to ask your dentist. How is that going to work? Do they store your final image in the cloud? If it's with Invisalign, they do. What happens if you move and go to another state? How are you going to get more retainers? Can you just order more retainers ahead of time? and kind of stockpile them, which is what I kind of recommend. There are some services out there and companies out there, and I think it's gonna become a lot more popular that have retainer subscription programs, not only third party direct to consumer, but also through your dentist. So these are all fantastic questions to ask your dentist. If you're a dentist, feel free to talk to me about it. I have a lot of blogs on the subject. I've helped doctors set up their own retainer subscription programs. And just so there's no miscommunication between dentists and patients of what you need to do at the end. Generally, I will, if I'm super happy with the outcome of an Invisalign case, I'm gonna go ahead and order that Vivera off the last aligner, but I'm gonna tell the patient they need four uppers and lowers. I'll include one with my treatment, okay? After that, that's on them. If they wanna order a pack of four, I'm not gonna necessarily upsell it. I'm gonna charge them maybe like three or $400, that's about my fee, for eight more, four uppers and four, more, four lowers. Um, but that's my fee, right? I'm not making anything off that. If they get it, right at the time of debond. But if they get it later, there probably will be an additional fee. If teeth move and you need another set, then that's another scan and another delivery. So that's gonna be slightly more expensive than if I just push a button to order it. So I don't know if that makes sense. If you have a 3D printer in your office um, and a vacuum form or a Biostar machine, this is something you can totally do. You can't buy the Invisalign branded Vivera material on its own, the sheets. That has to be made at Invisalign headquarters, which takes a little more time. But you can make clear retainers within your own office or you can go to a regular lab and have them made. But it's not going to be made of Vivarium material. Personally, who cares? There's a lot of <laughs> other great O4 materials that are out there that to me work just as well. They may not be scalloped and have the same trim line. They may not be branded, okay? But um, they are there. But in that case, you know, that final STL, you need to find a place to store that if you're doing that if you're not using Invisalign. So, and there's a benefit to that because anytime the patient needs more, they can just call you, you push a button. Anyways, I know that's a lot of information. Hopefully, um, if you have any questions, give me a holler. I'd be glad to talk to you about it, both dentists and um, patients. If you want to talk about stuff, we do have a patient-facing Facebook page, so feel free to ping us um, or go to Facebook and search uh, Dentist Moderated Orthodontic Support Group or something like that. I can't remember the exact name, but you'll see it there. Um, the banner is pink. So anyways, 
Dentists, please go to straightsmilesolutions.com. Continue to submit your questions. Hopefully that answered your question. And yeah, retainers are a really hot topic. All right, thank you.